this is Mr. Barr, and today we're not going to do any new material. What we're going to do is we're just going to practice scientific notation, going into scientific notation, going out of scientific notation, just back and forth. So a uh, review of the last two days. So scientific notation, we've already talked about this. It works with big things and big numbers and little numbers. So scientific notation makes big numbers and small numbers easier to work with. So here's an example of a big number. Here's an example of a small number. Okay, let's get into our notes. Oh, and what it does is it wraps all the zeros into a little package and we know how to wrap it up and we know how to unwrap it. So that's what we're gonna to practice today is just wrapping and unwrapping scientific notation. So in our notes, let's start with our name. Nope. Start with our name. do a total of four problems. So we're going to wrap, the first one is going to be a wrap it up. So if I have, let's go with five hundred and ten million and I'm going to wrap that thing up. What do I do? I find my decimal and I move it almost to the front. And I count those jumps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 5.1 times 10 to the eighth. Let's do some more wrapping. This time let's go with 0 0.000093. We're going to wrap this up. I find my decimal. It's right there. I want to move it right here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 9.3 times 10 to the negative 5. It's negative because it's a small number. Let's do a couple unwraps. Let's go with 5.2 times 10 to the fourth. So I go with 5.2 and I have to add four zeros to it. One, two, three, four. Then I have to make how many jumps? I have to make four jumps. One, two, three, four. So now the decimal is right there which is five, two, one, two, three, so 52,000. Let's do another unwrapping. Let's go with 9.8 times 10 to the negative three. So I need to add three zeros. Where do I need to add them? To the front. And make three jumps. So I'm left with 0 0.0098. This 
finishes your notes for today. So your notes are done for today, but we'll do a couple practice problems. Okay, we'll do it. Let's do, let's put, let's wrap this one up. So I want you to wrap up this guy right here. So I'm gonna write it out for us. Writing tablet here. So let's wrap up one, four, one, one, two, one, two, three. So the first thing I want you to tell me is just, what would the number part of it look like without the 10 to the whatever? What's just the number part of this? And just the number part is gonna be 1.41. And now what is the exponent part of this gonna be? Well, let me count. Exponent part is going to be a 7. Okay, so we did a big number. Let's practice a small number. Let's go with, let's do letter H right here. Letter H. First off, tell me what would the, the number part of it be for me. So letter H, we have 0 0.01232, okay, so what's just the decimal number part of it? Good. And then what would the exponent be of this? The exponent, one, two, three, four, okay. Four, is it a four or am I, have I messed it up? Is it a four? Nope, it should be a negative four. 2.6 times negative, uh, 2.6 times 10 to the negative 4. Okay, let's do some the other way. Let's take some numbers out of scientific notation. Let's do number, let me zoom in a little bit. Let's do number 6 right here. Let's take this guy out of scientific notation. So I have I'm going to add four zeros. And I'm going to make four jumps. And all this stuff at the end, I don't even have to think about it anymore. It's gone. Uh, okay. So there we go. So what is that? 13,300. Super. Let's see. Can we do a negative one now? Let's do number 12. So let's take this guy and unwrap it. Let's put it into standard form. I'm going to add four leading zeros, one, two, three, four, and four jumps, one, two, three, four, which leaves me with 0 0.0008. All right, hey, that's it for today. So today was just a practice of the last two days. You're going to go do your work now. Thank you for watching.